looks like we're recording. Here we go. It's your boy Money Buddha. We're back at it. So, Shalom. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, we're going to change it up a little bit again. We're getting traction. Shouts out 54 subscribers. We're doing big things. It was just like yesterday. We had nobody. Now we got 50 people. That's, that's, that's big. We getting more than that, though, behind the scenes or views. If you check our views, team, family, I'm going to have to start deputizing. I'm eating the orange. Make sure y'all get y'all. You know I mean? People say I don't take care of myself. I mean, I'm just like, oh, money boot is pretty, pretty good. I don't know. But. So, I thought I'd take care of myself. So, I'll be eating some oranges. Mm, drop my gut down. Drop my orange. Mm. So, I see what we got here. This one is going to be about, let's see if I can even, hold on, I'm in, boom, there we go. Gotta get out the scene. I'm gonna crank that uh, volume. Hopefully, y'all can hear me without me having to scream. So, we on here. Boom. What brokerage should I be using? <coughs> What broker should I be using? So, let's start from the top here. A lot of you all want to play around with these people. You know, I don't... How do I feel about Robin Hood? Would I go as far as to say that they're crooks? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I go as far as say Robin Hood is crooks are they crooking people <laughs> you could say that you could say Robin Hood are, are crooks I wouldn't be mad at you Now fucking crook. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I couldn't be mad at you. <clears throat> so they got investing one on one, building the bricks of your financial journey. This is a good ass one. We're learning these things, huh? Mandarin, so oranges and some shit. Little, little dainty, dainty oranges, GMO orange. Hopefully it ain't GMO, but I'm thinking. How the fuck they get oranges that small? Some little, little cute little oranges. With no seeds in them. Uh oh, <laughs> GMO. That shit, everyone. But anyway, we moving on. What is this? What is an investment? An asset brought to you with extraction will generate your future income. Probably. See what I mean? I feel like <coughs> this shit is a fucking scam. <laughs> Look at this shit. They got you over here thinking this is this supposed to be my hand? Am I a robot? Am I the robot trader planting seeds in the ground, Robin Hood, while you all manipulate the market with the market makers and trick people out of their money? Poor white people. Poor people in general, man, because y'all not, it's not just white people, but I'm only saying white people because I see a white man's hand shaking shake hands with the rock and league with the beast. I ain't, you didn't hear that from me, though. All right. 
Stock market is where the buyers and sellers come together. But that's not true though. See, they they see that's the scam behind this all. I want see that's why money money Buddha really is a real I'm really letting you know. Like you have to understand. They say between buyers and sellers and market makers. And but and it's really buyers, market makers, sellers, market makers. You see what I mean? The market maker is in between the buyer and the seller. Like how a real estate broker is in between you selling your house. You can sell your house without a broker. Or you can have them in the deal. M fucking market making your deal, basically, is what they're doing. <coughs> they're they're f allegedly facilitating, you know what I mean, the connection. But at the same time, how are they? I, I mean, how can you truly say they're facilitating it when they're in the middle of that bitch money, money, fucking middle man and all the deals? You know what I mean? Putting spreads on the deals and all kind of shenanigans they're doing behind the scenes that, you know, in a standard mind state, it makes sense. Okay, money Buddha. I'm in the deal. You're in the deal. How do I find you? You're all the way in whatever, Wichita, Kansas, or somewhere. We need someone to facilitate the transaction. That's cute. But then when you start to add in, oh, now this person is taking shit off the top, which is fine. We'll even let him have that. He wants a little profit. Everybody needs profit. But then now nah, he's putting spreads on the money. You know what I mean? He's fucking spreading the money. Basically, I mean, you know, your house is worth a million, but he's going to put a two million spread on it now. And now when I come to buy, he's telling me 2.3, all this fuck shit. You know what I mean? He's telling you 1.5. You know, <laughs> you thinking you're getting a little good deal. You don't even know he's putting all these crazy wicked spreads on your shit because he's money man and he's middle man in your deal. He's all up in the deal where he where if you think about it, this nigga doesn't have any asset. These people don't really create any real asset. The buyer and the seller, the buyer and the seller are the real two key integers in this in this formula. This robot man is see what I mean? You're not shaking the other man's hand. This is a good this is a good example to start start the vid off. You are not shaking the other man's hand. You're shaking the market maker's hand. And then if you were to have another picture side by side, he's shaking the other robot's hand. You see what I mean? Like the robot has both hands out, shaking both hands of the of the buyer and the seller. And, and, and it's unfortunate. Whereas in reality, the buyer and the seller should be shaking hands. They're the two ones who are creating the transaction. The market maker acts like, oh, they have this weird mind state. You should hear these pompous pricks. I mean, I'm giving you real facts here. This is what they're not showing you on the Wall Street floor. You know what I mean? These fucking pricks really fucking believe that that you all need them, that they're somehow facilitating all these transactions and and without them being there, it'd be total chaos and we would cease to exist. Blah, 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 blah. all this fucking crap. You know what I mean? Let's go back. Where we go? We lost our. I liked that. I liked that picture. That was cool. I might take this picture. Take that. So. That being said, I wouldn't have you all on Robin Hood if you're going to be a trader. Because still, don't get me wrong, there's money to be made here. I just want you all to understand these things, which most people don't understand. And you almost will never understand because they're not going to tell you. No one's going to tell you what I just told you. Jim Cramer, all these fucking clowns are not going to tell you what I just told you because they work for the system. Oh, now I see why it went backwards. I have little buttons on the side of my mouse. See right here, and this is another thing. You got to be careful with these pictures. This is them. This is what they think you all are doing. They feel like thinking you're all lost. You're lost on this map portfolio. You know what I mean? Of the stock market. They make you think this thing is some kind of inanimate fucking object. When this board land that you're standing on is the market maker. This is what I want you to understand. So that way when you, we start to get you into the, to the part two, part three of the Money Buddha trading course. You know what I mean? You all can understand really what's going on here. You know what I mean? This is the market maker you're standing on. The market maker is the map. They try to act like they are another player in the map, but that's really the map manifesting. You know what I mean? Like you see in the scary movies, that's really the haunted house making fake people in the house. Clone, clone men. They're not really real. 
you are the only real person stuck in the fucking halls. And really, if you want to navigate your way through the market and actually come out with these crystals, that which they making you, I guess they're trying to make you look like it's money. You know, you try to grab crystals like a video game. You think you you Minecraft and this shit, this brainwash shit. You gotta realize, you gotta know these things. You gotta realize this shit is the devil. You got to understand that this shit is satanic. You got to know that they're destroying the planet while they got people thinking that they're playing the market. But there's money on the market. I know it's hard to say that. Like, damn, well, damn, money, Buddha, why are we on this bitch? But it's money on this bitch. There's, there is crystals that on this motherfucking map. But you got to know that. You got to know that before you start thinking you're going to play the game, if you will. So we move on to say this because I'm seeing a lot of people following us. You see what I mean? The reason why I'm saying this, the reason why I had to go all the way back, you're like, damn, Buddha, we were, we were day trading. Now what are we doing? We trying to pick brokerages because... I don't know where you all are at. And I'm getting hella views, bro. We're getting big views, man. We got a gajillion views. And these people are seeing this shit. And I'm, and, and I'm seeing people talking to me. And they're telling me, man, I'm almost losing money, money, Buddha. I don't know how to make no money. And I want you all to understand what we're doing, how we're doing it. So if you do plan on hopping in, Cause I don't want to be responsible. I would hate to, for you to be, you know what I mean? I'd be responsible for you motherfuckers not making no money when the object was for you to make money. I, I got this shit on the bottom of my fucking mouth. And it's gross. Anyway. Shouts out to my gunky mouse. Keep your desk clean. Fucking animals. I like these little pictures, these little brainwashy pictures that Robin Hood put on here to fucking make you believe. <clears throat> Introducing IPO access. You already had IPO access. See, this is me. It's a scam. Next. All right. Weeble. Now, Weeble, I'm not too familiar as far as the company background to say scam or not scam. Obviously, I feel it's a scam. I feel like they're all scams. It's just which one is the less scammiest. And this one is less scammier than Robin Hood. So. If you had between, so that's why I put it up here. If you had it between Robin Hood and Webull, if you're going to fucking play around with this, A, you're on a cell phone trading platform bullshit crap. You know what I mean? Like, you know, be fucking careful anything with that. Because if you, if you know the Robin Hood, Robin Hood, they shut those people down, did not even allow them access to the market during key integral times that the market was, you know what I mean, was shifting. Which is, you know what I mean, i.e. high frequency, high volatility, you know, which is one of the key times you might want to be on the fucking market, I, I, you think, you know what I mean? And so they shut those people down and limited their access. Now, we will, I was not too, you know, I'm not too, you know, intimate to know whether or not they as well. I, I would suppose they too had intermittent issues, you know what I mean? But what I will say in Ebel's, Ebel's defense the people who I have seen use it, which minuscule that might be, um, actually um, enjoyed Weeble. So that's why Weeble made it. So let's see. Let's check it out. Let's see what we got here. You can do some stocks, financial shares. See, I don't see more of these pictures. I don't like how they treat the investor like a fucking stupid fucking kid. This is real fucking money. You know what I mean? I am not a fucking idiot. I am not a kid. You are not my daddy. You know what I mean? Like, this shit really gets on my nerves. And I, that's what I'm saying. That's why I had to come out here and make this channel. You all got to hear some different kind of thought. You got to hear some real thought from a real motherfucking individual. A living, fresh, breathing individual. You know what I mean? As they keep turning you all into fucking puppets. Let's see what's up with the trade. Money Buddha. Okay, let's see. See, that's what I'm saying. I kind of, <clears throat> I kind of like Weeble. Okay, let's get some Apple. Let's see. Give me a ticker. What's your favorite ticker? E. Uh oh. Secret. Uh oh. Ooh, he didn't do that. Uh oh. I give y'all a little secret because you're a fan. If you're a subscriber, you need to subscribe. To did Money Buddha this motherfucking 1 800 save your account again? 1 800 save your account. 
Let's see, no, I don't know. There's charts we bull. I don't know. We got to work on our charts. My pan out. Maybe I'm too tight. All right, I'll give you that one. Maybe that's what it is. I'm too tight. See, see, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you all might want to buy AIM Immunotech. I don't know. It looks like a this triangle pattern breakout to me. Looks like a triangle to me. Looks like... <laughs> I don't know what you all know, but whatever. Money Buddha, you... So, don't say I don't love you. Don't say I don't put the monies out there for you. So, you got a watch list. You got a spider. Okay, let's see what the spider's doing. You all want to check the spider? You all like to invest... Oh, look at the spider. The spy is way up. Whoa, I remember when the spy was like 300 a share. Now, look at it. It's $400. The, oh, yeah, look. It went up. That was last year. Damn, that was that's when that was. That was that dip. That was the dip of a lifetime. Look at that dip raw. Double bottom. Textbook. Textbook double bottom for all my newbies. Here's here's how to spot a double bottom. Textbook textbook double bottom. Here's your here's your key. Here's your double bottom. Right there. Boom. First bottom, second bottom, and then look right after that. Buying. Look at the buy. Came right up off the back end of that. That's how you textbook, 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 textbook. Let's see, let's see. What else we got for you all? Now I'm clicking on shit. I'm clicking on shit. Um, so this is Weeble. Well, I mean, that's why I say, as you can see, it looks like a little more interactive than, um, Fucking Robin snatching hood, rob you, rob you in the hood, rob you in the hood. <laughs> That's the new name of Robin, Robin, rob your ass in the hood, Robin Hood, hood, and then niggas in the hood, rob your ass in the hood, in the hood and shit. Oh my God, be careful. That's why we made the channel, man. You gotta sub fucking subscribe. If you're not subscribing, you losing money. It's your fault. It's not my fault. I'm telling you. Because I'm out here now. We really are out here now. We Shouts out 54 subscribers. We really are fucking out here now. And and so you need to be a part of the family. You got to comment. Make sure you comment. Communicate with each other. I'm here. I'm watching. I'm like God right here. And I'm communicating with you all my children. So you know what I mean? Whatever you say, I see it. Don't worry. Let's see. Uh-oh. I don't know what this is, but I like it. I'm liking the Weeble platform a little. See what I mean? That Weeble draw you in. That's what I'm saying. Don't, don't. That's what I say. You had it. It's almost baby, baby, um, baby real platform. This is, I can't, I would call these two tier one, tier one platforms. So here's some two tier ones. And... We're moving on. So now we're moving into our first, I would say, tier, t standard tier. You know, standard tier. This is whatever, you know. You got JV, you got varsity. We got varsity. Now we're in the varsity. So those were some JVs, you know, for your young shader. You trying to get into the game. You new to this. You so new to this, but you still want to be true to this. You know. I could have showed you some other ones. Take you back. Shouts out to all my dash traders. Um, you know what I mean? International brokerages, offshore brokerages. You know, we, we've been there, been there too, you know, but I didn't want to start y'all there. We're going to start y'all standard. Mind you, when we're getting here, I was going to just inform you all, TD Ameritrade and Schwab are pretty much the same company. Now, Schwab owns TD Ameritrade now at this point. So when you're on TD Ameritrade, you're essentially on Charles Schwab. But you got TD Ameritrade existing platforms, existing IPs, existing, you know, proprietary stuff that, you know, obviously with any merger stays, you know, the company that was merged or acquired, if you will. So that's why you still would see, well, then why, is there, why isn't it just Charles Schwab? Well, because, you know, they, they, TD Ameritrade has a different vibe. You see what I mean? They're coming with that. If you notice psychologically, Money is green. So if you notice that the website was green, um, what you call it was green. Acorns, that other product is green. You see what I mean? They trying to hit you with that psychological green, make you think money. 
you know that's how this works so we got tools and platforms everyone knows for the most part you got thinkorswim i believe see they're in league with msnbc you know what i mean csnbc these people you know what i mean jim kramer all these clowns they're in league with each other they're in league with each other so they're tricking you they basically want you to log on put your money onto this shit then watch them on TV lie to you and then trick you out of your fucking money. You see what I mean? This is real. This is real. I'm telling you what it is. These guys are fucking cunts. You know what I mean? Meanwhile, the market makers are stealing the money on the back end. The whole system is corrupt. That's what I'm saying. Don't get me wrong now. I, I know, it, but but at the same time, <laughs> but when you boot up, where else are you gonna make any money though? It's just like that. It's just like living in the hood. If any other place, if everyone's selling cocaine, of course cocaine dealers are dirty and murderers and all that. But where else are you gonna make some money? So you gonna fucking you gonna sit there and be poor, or you gonna fucking you know grease the wheel too? So that's essentially what you're doing. We know the system is corrupt. We know that it's dirty money out here. But hey. Where else are you going to get a better yield on your money? You're going to put it in a bank and let it sit there and get less than 1%? Come on, let's go. Anyway, so we're moving on. Look at this shit. TD Ameritrade. I know people who fuck with TD Ameritrade. You got think or swim. If, if, I, if I had to tell you anything, what most people are doing is they're, they're logging on and they're creating one of these accounts so they can get access to the charts and things of that nature. And they're either making this their main platform or they're double dipping with Charles Schwab. And making Charles Schwab the one that you get the charts from and putting the main money on here. And that's pretty much what they're doing with that for the most part. So they're doing a little double dip. But for the most part, you got older investors, people around 50 years old, 40, 46 years old in that area. 46 and older kind of ended up on TD Ameritrade. That's why Charles Schwab acquired it. The new traders, new younger traders, the more... Kind of the more sophisticated traders that kind of grow up away from the Weeble and the um, whatever the fuck that place is called, whatever that other one is called. Um, what's that other one we were just talking about? Robin Hood. Fucking goddamn. Those ones are going to be the ones that um, are the ones that you're going to fucking... Uh, You're going to see people migrating from. So, that being said, why TD Ameritrade? If that's so, I'll give you some numbers because I don't know really. Let's say Webull. We'll give Webull a two. We'll give Robinhood a one. We'll give this TD Ameritrade a two and a half. Maybe. And then we'll give them a little more of that because you, that's saying, uh, we'll give TD Ameritrade a clear of a, a 3.5 because you do get some of these tools, some charts. You know what I mean? Just, just, just be, just buyer beware is all I can say on that one. That's with all of these ones though. So pretty much that's everything. None of these ones really. You know, you, at the end of the day, you got to know what you're buying. You know what I mean? You got to know, you know. So, but you don't know what you don't know. That's what I'm saying. But uh, TD Ameritrade, yeah. As you can see, I'm not too hype on TD. Ameritrade. But I do like it. Don't get me wrong. They got some good charts. They got some good things, some analyticals. You know what I mean? You're getting an app. You're getting multi support. You're getting a utilization of some a lot of users. A lot of usual users utilize the TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim platform. So, you know what I mean? You're not you're not alone here. But it's not. I wouldn't. Being that Charles Schwab owns it, obviously it's not better than Charles Schwab at that point because, you know, it's his daddy. But it, I wouldn't say that it's below, quite quite comparable to, etc., etc., etc. TD Ameritrade. Next. So now, this one right here, Interactive Brokers, I don't know too much about, but I love the CEO. I've seen the CEO talk and I feel like he, he shares my energy about the fuckery on the market. Like, you know what I mean? He can't say too much because he's got a whole company. But I seen, I heard him, I was listening to him. And he was, you know, you can tell that he doesn't like what he, see, what he sees. And as he shouldn't because, you know, as being that he's a brokerage, 
he he has intimate privy behind the scenes of you know how like I like what I was articulating earlier on in the video about this market maker manipulation on 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 the background, you know what I mean? And 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 so it's not that good. Obviously, they got the so-called make money. There's nothing wrong with turning a profit, but when you're stifling the market, you know what I mean. You're keeping certain areas degraded on purpose. You know what I mean? Things like that is out of as out of the norm, out of the sort. You know what I mean? And then when certain things go up, then they have the nerve to try to say, oh, it's a meme and all these other things that they're trying to articulate because people are trying to generate revenue. You know what I mean? Because they want to short the market. They want to short the planet because they don't really want the human race to get anywhere. You know what I mean? It's absurd. You see what I mean? That has nothing to do about stock marketing and brokeraging and market making. You understand? That's all about human manipulation and human control. And so that's why these people have totally bridged beyond their scope. You know what I mean? So that's why, you know, fuck them. You know, you got to understand these things. My peoples, my young peoples, my young discipoli, my young discipoli. My discipoli, you have to know. But with that being said, I lo I'm, we will be moving money over here to Interact or Brokerage soon. I like what I see. I like what they're doing. I feel like they don't get enough juice. I feel like they're being obviously overshadowed by Charles Schwab. Being Charles Schwab is the number one brokerage right now. But I believe, as you can see right here, number one 2021 brokerage. You see what I mean? I believe they are the better brokerage between Charles Schwab. So... If you are brand new to the market and you don't have any money and no home, go straight to Interactive Brokers. Go straight there and then go from and grow from there. Instead of going to, instead of going to whatever Robinhood or Webull or all that other fuck shit or dealing with Charles Schwab's fucking nonsense like the rest of us. <laughs> cuz fucking cuz the reason why people are let's move us on to the next one. The reason why people are fucking at Charles Schwab it's not really the low commissions and all that shit. It's because Charles Schwab's high frequency fucking acquisitions on those on those goddamn shares. Let's be honest. Like really. When you trade other places and other platforms, they're snappy. I haven't traded interactive brokerage, which I wanna tr wanna try. But like that shit is snappy. The executions are lightning quick because Charles Schwab and them have fought to get access to the floor. I remember the whole thing you know what i mean because they didn't want charles schwab and them in in the game either because they didn't want schwab to fucking snitch you know what i mean because he also could see the the shittiness that was going on and the fuckery that's going on in the market you know what i mean but as you can see schwab is like i ain't saying shit baby he, so he in the game as you can see, and that's why they're pumping him up and not pumping up interactive brokers that's what i mean why how why I say I like the CEO and you can tell that he really he really must be standing on that firm because you can see how Charles Schwab has risen up in the brokerage category where interactive brokerage has not. And I believe that they are the better platform and the better whatever. Now granted like I saying the services, the business aspect, Schwab and them are running that thing like a real nice engine. But I feel like they can do better, obviously. If I had to give Charles Schwab a grade, a B minus, they're getting, they're get, I would give him a C plus, but I'm only giving him a B, B minus because the acquisitions, there is some things that you just can't look, overlook, even with them being stupid fucking idiots and cunt faggots and playing around in bed with the market makers as well. That, 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 whatever, you know, that's one of those kind of things. It's like a, it's like a pretty girl that's a bitch. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, she's a bitch, but she's pretty. It's that deal. So we know Charles Schwab is a worthless. They're in bed with the fucking um, talking about better place for traders when they're trading the traders. But they're giving you some things that I just think are invaluable, i.e. these charts. These like they're really ha like the platform um, is just I believe the platform is just from what I see. I love it. I'm not going to lie. Granted, I can be a little biased because I do a majority of my trading right there. But. I've put over, I've put millions of dollars through that platform, and I loved it. Uh oh. Gospel came on. Hallelujah. 
I wonder if we can keep that on for a little bit. I don't want to get copyrighted. Alright, let's turn it off before we get copyrighted. <laughs> There you go. Y'all got a little bit of gospel. But I believe, like I said, these things like this is now granted, like I said, Schwab is not infallible. Don't get me wrong. It's up there, but it's not infallible. You will experience fuckery too. They do play around with your shares. They will broker you hard sometimes. Um, but if you can navigate the waters, obviously this is this would be the best trader place, I would say. Like they say, best place for traders, honestly, right now. Now, granted, for me, that's just my opinion. I know some other traders don't even fuck with none of these ones. They're on some other back wall behind the scenes shit with light speed and all that other stuff. But I got no problem with that either. There's different strokes for different folks. But to me, when I look at the interactor, if you, it depends on how you learn. I'm a visual learner type deal. Well, I'm just a learner anyway. I hate when people say that. But I do like eye candy, if you will. And I feel like Charles Schwab um, has a lot of eye candy. All the, all this shit be... Certain people can't handle that. Like, you got people that be like, oh, I don't want all this shit on my screen and all this. Well, if you can't handle that, then it won't matter. But me, if you look, you've seen, if you all see some of my charts sometimes, I got all kind of shit. I got the Ikemoshi. I got all, all. I got it all. I got the SSI. I got everything. What am I talking about? MACD. I'm talking about. RSI, excuse me, I said SSI. I got the RSI, integers. I got all that shit. I got the VWAP. I got all that shit on there. That's what I'm saying. That's what I like. And, and you feel, I don't know me. I'm psychic, so I know that might add a little bit too. And being that I'm psychic, and I know that Charles Schwab is in bed deep with the um, the brokerages or with the, the with the market makers. When the market makers do things, I can feel it directly impulsing through to the um, Charles Schwab. So it keeps me, it kind of keeps me aware like, ooh, oh, market makers did that. Whereas I don't know if I, being on a Wee Bill or being on a Robin Hood, something happens and you're just like, what was that? What, what, what's going on? Whereas with Schwab, something happens, I'm like, uh-oh, they really, they're halting. Oh, they're playing with the market. Oh, they're doing this, they're doing that. Because they play with the market. You got to know that. Real, the high level broker, um, excuse me, um, traders know that, but they work for brokerages, so they are essentially a part of the playing around, if you will. But everyone knows, if you're a real trader, know that they play around with the market makers, do things and, and they do things, and certain things are supposed to go up, and certain things don't go up, and certain things go down, and certain things shouldn't go up, and certain things, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and all that. You they know, they know this is fuckery. But at the same time, when you're pulling in big money, you know, ten thousand dollars plus, million dollars plus, you know, a day. So some of these brokerages, you know, are pulling in billions of dollars a day through that high frequency trading in those machines. You know, they they've rendered traders obsolete. The machine does the trading, and it does it at such a crazy micro level that it like almost renders everyone else not even able to make any money. It's so lame. You see it sometimes. Next time you look at a chart and you see the chart and, you, and it just looks so pinched and it just looks like a line. But then when you look at the volume, it's like a fucking hundred million shares sold. But you don't see no you don't see no um, volatility. That's the machine. That's that damn machine just fucking trading one cent over higher than the other cent higher than the other cent. And since it's got so many goddamn shares, that's all you need to do to make money. You only need one cent. And then you do it a hundred times. There's your hundred cents. There's your sixty cents. You know what I mean? There's whatever cents you need. Whereas we need it all to be consecutive pips, consecutive cents, consecutive dots. One cent, two cent, three cent, four cent, or three cent up, two cent down. That's five cents. But are people trading both ways? See, the machine does that. The machine can trade it up and trade it down, and rise it up three cent, then short it down two cent. That and, and then all those cents come its way. Whereas you as a regular individual, you tr try, but you know, you got, you know, that's, that's what, that's what these hedge fund people are doing and they're just sitting on the back end of all this shit. But you see, as you can see, there's a lot of disclaimers with the Schwabby Schwab because like I was saying, you know, they're in bed. They, as you can see, they had more disclaimers than any other damn trading one when they came on. 
because they will take your money. They will margin call you. They will lend you out to it to the edge and then take the edge from you. You know what I mean? This is that's what I say. Well, then why are we on here? Well, because you're getting quick access to the market. Like the free is you know I don't let's say I haven't tried interactive. If hopefully I won't enter if interactives is snappy like Schwab. I mean snappy when you execute with Schwab, you press fucking enter and it's just like your share is just like like a like when you flush your toilet. It's like <laughs> that's exactly what it is. <laughs> Going down the drain like shit. But that's what like it just like snaps like you're it just instant. I love it. Whereas some trades you're like with other platforms you you press enter and it's like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, you know? Where Schwab is enter, it's execute, it's done. It's like microsecond. Like I said, because like you can they are on they are on the floor. They are inside the high frequency trading center in New Jersey. You all don't understand that. I try to tell people that either. The market is not in New York. The market is in New Jersey. You know what I mean? Okay? It's not even you know what I mean it's in a big ass warehouse. Because that's where they do the high frequency trading it. But you gotta know these things. These are this is what money Buddha gives you. So that being said, I would go interactive brokers one, Charles Schwab second, and we don't do any of the two three fours because you know we only do the best. So them your two choices really: TD Ameritrade and all that other shit. Man, you can do light speed, but I don't know what they're doing with all that. That's extra to me. But don't get me wrong, I like it. I like what I see. So we might throw light speed in there. We'll put light speed and all that third. For all the, for all my light speed people. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong. Light speed. I see motherfuckers make good money on there, so I ain't gonna I can't knock it. I can't knock it. And it's snappy too, don't get me wrong. I only put that's the thing. I've seen it's about as snappy as Schwab too, so don't get me wrong. But you could you could say uh, light speed is higher than Schwab, being that a lot of professional traders, I seen personally, use that light speed trading stuff. So, what's your what's your like? That's what was in the background. Some guy fucking talking about day trading. Um, from there, I think we're gonna end it. Let's see what we're. Let's see. So I'm gonna go cut play. Okay. And then from here, these are some of the charts for Schwab. And this is kind of why at the end you kind of end up going with Schwab because this is kind of what you're getting. I mean, your data. You're getting high level data. So this is essentially why. And on that, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that'll be our review of the top five-ish, four-ish, six-ish, fucking um, goddamn brokerages that you can buy or get on. This is part one. The next one, we'll go ahead and move on and see what's going on. I am the Money Buddha. And I'm... So I guess we'll do a little after show if anyone's still here. And I'm gonna go ahead and see as you can see I do have Schwab up. And we're gonna see what's going on right here.